via containment, Wikipedia article audio. The concept of biocontainment is related to laboratory biosafety and pertains to microbiology laboratories in which the physical containment of highly pathogenic organisms or agents is required, usually by isolation in environmentally and biologically secure cabinets or rooms, to prevent accidental infection of workers or release into the surrounding community during scientific research. The term biocontainment was coined in 1985, but the concept stretches back at least to the 1940s. Primary containment is the first container in direct contact with biohazardous material as well as protection of personnel and the immediate laboratory environment from exposure to infectious agents. Primary containment requires using proper storage containers good microbiological technique, and the use of appropriate safety equipment such as biological safety cabinets. Containment Types Biosafety Levels Secondary containment is the protection of the environment external to the laboratory from exposure to infectious materials and is provided by a combination of facility design and operational practices. Biological Safety Cabinets, first commercially available in 1950, are fairly common devices designed to provide effective primary biocontainment in laboratories working with highly infectious agents. Three general levels and types have been devised. Biosafety suites are suites of laboratory rooms which are essentially equivalent to large class 3 cabinets in which positive pressure personnel suits serve as the outside environment for workers. Examples include the biosafety suites at USAM Riot at Fort Detrick, Maryland, USA and the maximum containment facility of the CDC in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Agricultural containment, the term biocontainment is used differently in facilities for the study of human pathogens versus those used for the study of agricultural pathogens. In agricultural facilities, the definition for biocontainment resembles that for biosafety, i.e., the safety practices and procedures used to prevent unintended infection of plants or animals or the release of high-consequence pathogenic agents into the environment. In the agricultural setting, worker protection and public health are always considerations, however, emphasis is placed on reducing the risk that agents under study could escape into the environment. A biosafety level is the level of the biocontainment precautions required to isolate dangerous biological agents in an enclosed laboratory facility. The levels of containment range from the lowest biosafety level 1 to the highest at level 4. In the United States, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have specified these levels. In the European Union, the same biosafety levels are defined in a directive. Guidelines Today, guiding publications for biosafety and containment in the U.S. are set by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Institutes of Health. Since 1984, the CDC and the NIH have jointly authored the Biosafety in Microbiological and Medical Laboratories and the separately published section of the BMBL, Appendix A, Primary Containment for Biohazards, Selection, Installation and Use of Biosafety Cabinets. The BMBL sets national regulations for biosafety levels, containment, decontamination and disinfection, transportation, and disposal of biohazardous agents. Citations Also Biosafety in Microbiological and Biomedical Laboratories, 4th Edition, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Public Health Service, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, National Institutes of Health, Washington, D.C., U.S. Government Printing Office, 
the 2013 International Conference on Biocontainment Facilities, the 2014 International Conference on Biocontainment Facilities, ebook reference, Management Principles for Building and Operating Biocontainment Facilities, Wadham, A.G., W.E. Barclay, and A. Hellman, Handling of Infectious Agents, Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association, 161 1557 1567.